Chuck Todd concern trolled Bernie Sanders about his support of socialists around the world, and um, Bernie casually dismantled him. I bring up the S word, democratic socialism, is because let's just take the swing state of Florida. I grew up in Miami, and I know what they're going to do to you. And they're going to tie socialism to Venezuela. They're going to tie comments you made about Evo Morales in Bolivia. Yeah, what about Evo Morales? And, and they're, I mean, yeah. you know, they, they're going to say you're, you will appease socialists in Latin America. You have, you have not condemned them the way others have condemned them. And use that to try to get people, to wedge people. You know that is what they're going to do. Well, they may, look, we're dealing with a president who is a pathological liar. So what I'm going to do? I mean, he's going to say anything he wants about me, right, but it, about Morales, Joe Biden, about Pete Buttigieg. You stood behind Evo Morales when it clearly went, you no, know. No, I stood about Evo. I stood with Evo Morales in condemning a coup. I do not like military coups. I like how Chuck Todd is convinced that this is like, you know, the Republicans are waiting to drop this attack on Bernie, and it is a devastating attack that's definitely going to work. Please, by all means, use the that attack, Republicans, which is the same attack you've used forever against Bernie, and he's still the most popular senator in the country. What percentage of voters, honestly, even know who Evo Morales is? Now, that's not, I'm not, that's not a good thing that they don't know who he is, but they don't know who he is. Americans don't know who Evo Morales is. So if you think you're going to go out there and, like, fearmonger about, oh my god, he supported Evo Morales, oh, Evo Morales... Nobody's reaction is going to be like that. Nobody's angry. Bernie's default position when it comes to foreign policy is, hey, let's mind our business and let's not mess with other people. People agree with that position. It doesn't matter how much you try to fear monger about it or muck up anger about it. It's not going to happen. But Chuck Todd is such a freaking oatmeal brain that he doesn't understand that this isn't some sort of devastating political attack. He's presenting it to Bernie. He's like, hey, man, I know what the Republicans are going to say, and you're going to have no response to it. Here's what they're going to say. Oh, my God, he supports all these socialist dictators around the world. And that's also not true. Evo Morales was a social Democrat. And when you get into the specifics of what happened uh, in Bolivia, it was literally an illegal coup. And that's what Bernie's saying. I don't like illegal coups. Very simple, very straightforward. So I think Bernie's going to win that debate. Bernie knows more about the situation in that country than Trump or the Republicans ever will and ever do. Um, so, yeah, good luck. Come at us with that stuff. This is just another variation on the same attack that they've recycled a thousand times that doesn't land at all. Namely, oh my God, socialism. Oh my God, communism. Oh my God, he like agrees with like the Soviet Union and like Cuba and like dictators around the world. And by the way, Bernie goes on to say, you're talking about a guy, Donald Trump, who has like repeatedly heaped praise on Kim Jong-un. So the argument against me is going to be, oh, Bernie Sanders loves dictators. <laughs> Good luck. Good luck making that argument. We'll see how far it gets. But again, the thing that annoys me to no end is that Chuck Todd really thinks like, oh, Bernie will get obliterated in this because they're going to say Evo Morales. <laughs> What a child, man. He doesn't know anything. What Chuck Todd just accepts whatever the conventional wisdom is completely. And he actually believes it. He's like, oh, the conventional wisdom is obviously correct about everything. So, Bernie, what are you going to do when they say this? And Bernie's like, that's the dumbest thing I've ever heard, bro. I don't like illegal coups. I think my position makes a hell of a lot more sense. It really is sad. I don't... The people who have made it in corporate media really are some of the dumbest people on the in the plant on the planet. And it's like, but that's on purpose. They do that on purpose. Because the moneyed interests want people front and center who will defend their worldview. And their worldview is really stupid. Their worldview is that, like, hey, the moneyed interests are the smartest people in the room. And the way the system works is perfect because we're in control of it. And so that's why you get the Wolf Blitchers and the Chuck Todds and all these idiots in control. It's really sad. But what I love is Bernie's scorn for them. He's like, what the f What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Really? You think that's a good political attack? No, I don't like illegal coups. You do? Get him, dad.